Welcome back to Clarky's Corner. My guest today is a very special guest now that we've gotten through all the players. Andrew Plate. Andrew, thanks for being here. Thanks, it's an honor. Uh, for the fans that don't know, Andrew is our athletic trainer. He does a lot of a lot of work behind the scenes and uh, keeps our guys healthy and, and on the ice as much as possible. Um, did you play hockey growing up? I did. I started when I was about four or five years old. Then you play now. All right. What kind of player were you? Or are you still? Natural goal scorer. Some say I was a defensive liability, but I don't like negativity in my life, so. You actually took the words right out of my right out of my mouth um, because I do get to play men's league with you. I know that uh, you uh, are definitely a defensive liability, but um, you do you do give your all uh, on the offensive zone, so that's good. Back checking takes a lot of hard work and commitment. Smart players back check through the middle of the ice while communicating with the defenseman in order to deflect the traffic and the threat to the outside of the ice. Uh, what got you into being an athletic trainer? Um, I always liked the medical side. Um, I, I grew up playing sports and when I was picking a major, I um, kind of wanted to combine the two and athletic training was that. So. Were, were you injury prone yourself as a player? Or? Nothing to do with that, just? No, never really got hurt. Um, we'll knock on wood for you. Yeah, really, no pucks hit me on the bench, so. There you go. <laughs> Don't jinx me. <laughs> uh, favorite professional sports franchise? Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah, all right. You have to rank these three colleges from best to worst, Penn State, Ohio State and Michigan. Well, best Penn State being a graduate there. Um, spent six years there, did my undergrad there and graduate school. Um, probably, I'd say Michigan and then Ohio State. All right, ball was last. So <laughs> just uh, not a big fan of that whole state, but. All right, all right. What is the uh, biggest difference between the East Coast and the West Coast? East Coast is more, the cities are a lot closer, so travel-wise, there's a lot to do. Um, out here, there's not much. Um, just, everything's a lot farther away. All right. Uh, what is a typical game day like for you? Um, I usually get here around 7.30, um, set up the locker room, uh, make sure the locker room's clean. Um, I set up the other teams, give them injury ice, water, and we have our pregame skate. And after that, all the guys leave. We set up the locker room and get out of here around like 12:30. Uh, Chad Suzaki brings me uh, Smitty's for lunch. Thank you, Chad. Um, Big shout out to Chad. Um, yeah. You must forget my order every week. <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's get to know the players a little bit from your perspective. I guess first, let's start with. Uh, uh, the guy you probably spend the most time with on the road, that's uh, the voice of the wild, Arch Ecker. What, what can you tell me about Arch as a roommate? Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Um, he's good. He's uh, We have a good time. He's very, very funny. He's witty. He snores a lot, which I have to fight pretty much every every trip. But I find my my earplugs and maybe throw a pillow or two at him. But he's good. Voice of the Wild Arch is number one. All right, uh, who spends the most time in your office out of all the players? Uh, Vanderbeck. Older uh, guy. Yeah, he's gets him, takes a while to get him going. Yeah, those older he, guys. He's eh? played a lot of junior games, so probably Vanderbeck and Sivkowski. All right. Uh, who spends the least amount of time in your office? Uh, Cooper Zek. All right. Uh, strangest injury you've ever had? Well, this year we have a lot of broken fingernails. Um, haven't had too much of that in college, so that's All right. it, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's definitely different. Uh, any strange superstitions you've seen from the guys? Um, let's see. Like I know when I played, guys would never come, would, would never even walk near the training office. 
Um, not really. I mean, last year, Matt Baker had a few. He has, at a certain time, he had to do everything on by, like, the minute. So I'd always have to tell him what time it was and make sure he's in the right spot. All right, shout out to the Baker, Matt Baker, who's at uh, Dartmouth this year, having a great year for them. So, all right, well, uh, thank you, Andrew, for being here. Oh, I almost forgot. We still have not had Jasper Weatherby on the show. Well, What's going on? maybe next time. Uh, fans, you can join us this weekend as we take on the Trail Smoke Eaters for our final two games of the regular season. Uh, lots of great, exciting things going on this weekend. I know we have bobblehead night on Saturday, uh, 10th anniversary on Saturday, and Friday is Parents Weekend. So make sure you come out. Uh, let's pack the TTC for the last uh, two home games of the regular season, and uh, look forward to seeing you then.